Every child's birthday is a unique constellation of memories. And for our little star today, the cosmos have aligned in the most delightful way. Hello, hello, this is Kathy Rose. I am here to analyze and talk to you about Carmilla's chart. Three orbits around the sun complete, a journey that is bittersweet. She has her sun in Virgo and the moon sign is in Capricorn. And this gives her a cancer rising sign. Her tiny hands, a world to explore, yet within me, emotions roar. Three years have swiftly slipped away, and yesterday turned into today. Moon in Capricorn is where you see a special skill in being able to get to the bottom line very quickly. A very practical, systematic little soul here. <laughs> Your Earth's gift, not mine, grounded and true. A soul that knows skies far beyond the blue. And there's a lot of Earth in her chart. Virgo, though, is learning about the pursuit of perfection, the pursuit of getting the details right. Being of service, there's not necessarily the strong need to have ego recognition or applause. Instead, with Virgo, it's the desire to get the job done well. Attention to detail beyond your years. A Virgo's spirit gently appears. I hold her close and make a vow to cherish every moment now. You'll notice she probably will want to create lists and she'll respond well to that. My daughter, three years young and bold, a story written in stars untold. There's some other issues here in the chart which could create a little bit of static interference and I'll talk about those in a moment. As you turn three, my little star, I'm grateful for the love you are. May your path be lit by celestial glow in this vast universe. May you ever grow. Now, she also has Mercury in Virgo. Mercury is the planet that shows how we need to think, how she needs to communicate. Mercury in Virgo is very, very strong because it rules that sign and it's usually a keen mind but what's fascinating about her mercury is it is in opposition to neptune and this adds a strong sensitivity and creativity from dawn till dusk you navigate a journey of learning so innate in cosmic hues of stardust bright our little carmella pure starlight but it also adds a great deal of sensitivity and potentially idealism at being able to go past the reality that a person is now projecting and to go into the possibility of what the person could become. That is a wonderful thing because that's what hope is made out of. The trick here with her chart is to help her to learn that it's okay to see the reality and to trust it without feeling guilty other people will show me who they are by their behavior, and then I can predict it. My heart a tapestry of joy and woe as mother's love continues to grow. There is a sensitive component to her that may not always be obvious and reinforce in her that her choices need to be made based on the facts in front of her because it's clear in her chart that she is trying to combine sensitivity and compassion with very strong, clear business boundaries and structure and achievement. She's trying to merge both. You have a beautiful soul on your hand. A bloom that flourishes with each morn. In her growth, my soul is torn. For as she spreads her tender wings, a choir of emotions within me sings. I celebrate her every stride, yet mourn the baby by my side. And sometimes the vulnerability flows into self-criticism, the fear of making a mistake, the fear of not getting it right, and beating themselves up. If you see any of that self-criticism, address it and give her permission to be a learning, growing soul. Remind her that the goal is not to be perfect. And you want to teach her how to be kind to herself. You want to model to her how to love and support yourself even if you didn't get 100% on every test. Be clear she's going to watch you like a hawk. Do the best you can 
to model unconditional love for self. You know, as I said, the most beautiful side of Virgo is the humility and the service orientation. From tiny steps to leap so wide, you're growing fast now. No need to hide. The bottom line on this horoscope is this mixture of wanting to be loving and compassionate and sensitive, but also to be practical and savvy and business-oriented and bottom line, and to not have guilt when hard decisions have to be made that are based on practicality. Now, worry is the other vulnerability with Virgo because sometimes they can worry about making the mistake or not getting it right and teach her to take action. Teach her the power of thought. Redirect her so that she's thinking about what she wants to energize in life because worry is manifesting what you don't want. There's also, interestingly, a potential for mechanical ability. Don't necessarily mean that she's gonna go work on cars but that the process of construction is fascinating to her. Maybe she is an intensive gardener. It wouldn't surprise me if she has an interest in the earth and gardening and things like that. Your laughter, like chimes in the breeze, carries the essence of earthly ease. So I hold you close, our precious child, as we journey forth, both meek and wild. She's not going to be somebody who's going to want to have somebody else do it for her. She's going to be somebody who says, let me do it myself and figure it out or teach me how to do it. And she'll be very, very good. It's going to be important for her to learn if, that it's okay for her to ask for help because you've got a pretty independent person here. <laughs> and she's going to have, I think, a restlessness about her. Each puzzle piece, a universe to explore, a Virgo's heart forever wanting more. She's got a lot of planets in cardinal signs. Cardinal signs are restless. They need to always be moving and doing something. But even in your constant motion, I love you more each day, for you bring endless joy and laughter in your own chaotic way. She may get bored easily. She's going to need need stimulation. She's going to feel like she wants to improve things, move things forward, be learning something new. She will not like it if she's bored. <laughs> I chase you around in circles with arms out wide, but you're always one step ahead on this wild ride. There's enormous business skill here again and again and again. You'll have to teach her to honor the fact that she is a, a really strong, capable soul who's probably very, very bright, and to live it, <laughs> to embrace it, to not apologize for it or change her behavior in order to avoid other people judging her. And we all have to learn that there, there will be rejection from time to time. And we can't control that. And she has to learn how to support and love herself unconditionally no matter what, even if that occurs. I don't think it's going to be that difficult for her. Her laughter fills our home with glee as she dances through life so carefree. She's a really cool soul. I mean, I'm just looking at this and thinking, very dynamic, very powerful, learning to balance compassion and sensitivity with power and capability. So as we celebrate your special day, know our love for you will never sway. One last thing. She was born at a very important time in history when Saturn and Pluto and Jupiter were conjunct. This does not happen very often, once every 35 years. It was made really powerful while they were in Capricorn, which was for all of 2020. And Saturn and Pluto working together along with Jupiter in Capricorn is trying to create a new paradigm about power structures and the correct use of power. That's her special commitment is I can be powerful, I can have achievement, I can have leadership roles, and I can do it with compassion and sensitivity in balance with success. What an amazing soul you have here, right? Oh boy, this generation of souls born in 2020 have an energy stamp in their chart of achieving something special. They are here to rebuild, and I look forward to seeing how they're going to do that. And you get to be part of it because you are her parents. Carmi, you're a star in a sky so vast. Our joy, our love, unconditional and steadfast.
Thank you guys so much for stopping in this week to watch Virgo Bounce. This one goes out to all you end of August and September babies who share your sign with my favorite girl. I'm so curious what all of your signs are. Drop a comment below. I think my voice is going. Happy Virgo month. Big kisses. Please remember to hit that subscribe notification button and I'll see you guys soon. Ciao, ciao.